Guide Consciousness. Chapter 13, Free Will, Part 4. We are in the process of developing this precious link, and in some of you, well, this is a very new idea, very sensitive and tender, and can easily be destroyed by the doubts. There is a part of you in your intellect that can easily get to scoffing at the absurd. A uh, notion that I exist in the first place, and that even if I did exist, how could you possibly have conscious two-way communication with me? It just sounds ever so not so, doesn't it? A little too schizoid, and it sounds dangerous. Why does it sound dangerous? Well, what if I tell you to go jump? off a bridge and kill yourself or the other way around or pick up that axe and start chopping up your family and friends or what if it is more subtle and I tell, tell you to do something that is a bit of a stretch for you but only just a bit and it starts to lead you down the wrong road for example I tell you to Take all your savings and send it to some worthwhile causes. Now you have no more money saved up. And what if something happens and you need some money? If you hear in your thoughts what you think is me telling you to kill yourself or jump off the bridge, well, maybe it's time to doubt that it is really me in your mind. Sometimes there is a good reason to doubt me. Sometimes doubt serves my purpose, too. You can doubt. The doubt. For sure. But you can also doubt that which is not me. The trick is to know whether or not it is me thinking this into your mind, or if it is not me thinking into your mind. The not me could be only you, and it could be some not me and not you, a pretender. I'm here to guide you through all this fireworks of doubt and misunderstanding and relics of past association of what God is supposed to do or say or do. There is one true God for you, the God who made you and the God who made the God who made God and made God, God and so on. I know this is highly annoying to your mental state of putting order into your perceptions, but, and it is a very big but, I'm not the one who made you or me or anything at all. I made nothing, and then nothing made me, and I made something out of no thing. I made myself so that I could make myself, and then, having done that, I went ahead and made myself, or rather made me, and then after that, or before that, depending on your, our, my point of view, the substructure of your possible existence was created by the impulse of me to know exactly, uh, to know who exactly I am, and this is because I did not know who I was or where. I came from. It has been said that I am a creation of your species. You created God just as you created money in the form of an idea to explain what cannot be explained, which is where you come from. Money is a system of belief to explain my existence. My reason for existence. Without your belief in it, money would not exist. Without your belief in me, I would not exist. Or would I? Before money existed, I did not exist. I do not exist. I never existed. I will never exist. 
I am not existence. I'm not a belief system or an idea. I am that which made existence. I am that which permits existence to exist. I am not an idea that you had recently or in the living memory of your species to communicate with me. All you have to do is ask to be with me. Is that simple? Once you have asked for me to come into your mind and think thoughts directly into your perception, you are required to be quiet in your mind and listen carefully to me and to the thoughts I will perfectly create direct into your mind, to your consciousness, into your conscious mind. You will have a precognition experience of each thought construct as it arises into your conscious mind. This is the seed form of the thought construct that you will experience in your awareness. At this moment of birth, your consciousness, your conscious mind with its ego structures and your conscious interaction with latent impressions can interfere and edit the thought transfer of thoughts from the embryonic stage of reception into the conscious cognition of your active awareness of thought. What I think into your mind can therefore be tampered with by your own hang-ups and opinions and strong biases that have nothing to do with me. This is why it is important to pay attention to the impulse to edit my thoughts and change what you are receiving. 